right, you guys. You know, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. Ooh, these bees are ooh, that's, that's around here somewhere. Um, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. And um, I'm gonna make this video short and sweet. Uh, because I can't even, it don't even deserve that much uh, talking about. What in the hell is wrong with Alex Jones? You know, I stopped, well, I used to be a big fan of Alex Jones. I stopped watching him because I thought he was getting a little weird. But he just solidified it for me. I watched some stuff, and Alex Jones is trying to convince people that the ancient Egyptians were white people. And there are people actually on the planet trying to distort the uh, system uh, more and more. They have already lied to you about religion, lied to you about everything else, race, everything else in America. And now here we go again. It's bad enough that they made Cleopatra white. Bad enough that you had this movie Exodus that was, again, in the year 2013 or 14 with an all-white cast when you clearly know that these are not white people. And then to now have Alex Jones, who I used to once have respect for, sit there and say something so ridiculous as the ancient Egyptians were white. And this is not a racist situation, y'all. I just want y'all to see, especially, especially black people, how this government is lying to us and now trying to whitewash history so your children can feel even inferior, more inferior than they're feeling because of these demons' lies. Because the first thing you should ask them is how in the hell did they survive the sun? You can't even survive the sun without even putting on sunscreen blocker and all that stuff. And that still wouldn't do any good because I've seen all kinds of images on the internet where you've had sun blocker on and your skin is still blistering up and from the sun from the heat i mean you you your body doesn't have any melanin like that you have very little there's no way in hell you could have stayed out there in that 120 degree heat with white recessive jeans skin it's impossible it's an impossibility so alex jones shame on you shame on you for starting to spill that rhetoric now, you already they're already lying. Try to change the textbooks in Texas to say that black people were in came to America looking for jobs. We were slaves. And I would never, ever, ever teach my child lies. How dare you fucking hypocrites do something like that? Now you want to tell the world that the ancient Egyptians is right. Are you that inferior about yourself because you really realize that everything that you have on the planet you raped and robbed and stolen from the indigenous people? And so now that you've uh, accommodated and now that you realize that, that that's what has happened, you want to just go crazy with your lies. And you have these generations coming up that don't really know anything because you've taken civics out of school their parents are probably addicted to drugs, so they probably can't give them a lot of history or won't give them history, a lot of history, real history. But the fact of the matter is, if you are a black person, an African-American, indigenous person of this land, and you are letting these people write you out of history, write us out of our story, then you are the problem. You are the problem. No matter how you think, no matter what you feel about racism, no matter what you feel about anything, you cannot let anybody, the truth is what sets you free. You cannot let anybody write you out of history and change your narrative because they want to, because it makes them look better, because it makes them feel better about themselves, because it makes them feel not so uh, just animalistic. What most of us have come to know who the great blood shedder on the planet is. Again, you cannot kill like the great blood shedder. You might think that you can, but you can't. He gets a pleasure out of killing. 
gets a pleasure out of lying, deceiving the whole world. That's Satan. When you understand that, that anybody that keeps those lies alive are Satan. They little Satans. Be it they black, be it they white, if they know the difference and they keeping all this propaganda and craziness going and these lies, then they are little demons. Okay? Now, I would never, ever teach my child that the ancient Egyptians were white people. And how dare you do something like that? There's no way in the world you could have stayed in the sun. All right.